Good morning everyone. Welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. It is noisy in here. It's absolutely stifling so I've got to have the air conditioning on. We have had all the windows open and uh, I'm, I'm just basically, we're dying, the three of us in here. So in the kitchen today is Laura and Maria. Hi girls, hi. So it's Laura's last day. Ooh, I did say August was end of contract. <laughs> And she won't do Facebook Live, so it's, it's Laura's last day today, isn't it, Laura? Yeah. That's <laughs> a bit of shock. <laughs> she's going on holiday, so don't worry. So we'll have her back in two weeks. So she's going on holiday, so that means that next Monday, John doesn't know this, but next Monday and Tuesday, John is in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. And the following Monday, because I did realise that Laura's away for two weeks. <laughs> so we'll break that news to John later. Anyhow, so... Let's get on with what we're going to do today. So I've got loads of things to show you. I don't know how the audience is building. Maria's here with a full sweatshirt on in this heat. Aren't you, Maria? I'm normal. <laughs> Are you normal? <laughs> I would never say she was normal. <laughs> so anyhow, so what I'm going to do is Dawn asked me to finish this cake for you, yeah? So she asked me just to finish it off because we didn't get a chance to finish it on Monday. It's going to take a few minutes, yeah? So. This was great. You all loved that live on Monday, didn't you? You were absolutely amazing. And so many of you got the new airbrush. That's been dispatched. Uh, they're arriving with us today. So hopefully, they're, no, they're being dispatched today from dawn. Hopefully they'll be with us in time tomorrow. So they'll dispatch tomorrow. If they don't get dispatched tomorrow, the worst that'll happen is they'll get dispatched on Monday. So don't worry, okay? So those lucky people have got it. You crash my website. Um, everybody was on there on Monday night, and as soon as we went clear, what's up? Use the button one. Use the one. Use the button one. Right. Okay. So if you, um, sorry, bigger portions. They have measured it. Don't worry. So if you, um, a lot of you bought those airbrushes. I cannot believe how many we've sold. Anyhow, so let me finish this off. I'm distracted with the girls because I've got Dawn's asked me to finish this. And I went to get some white sugar paste um, out of the cupboard. And um, I was going to use sugar paste direct, but Nikki Sheldon, I don't know whether she's watching this morning, mm, she you. came to our kitchen a couple of months ago and she made us pink lemonade sugar paste, okay? Now, Nikki's quite shy, so she wouldn't do a video. She did one in here, we were only allowed to film her hands. And uh, she's very confident on Facebook, but very shy when you meet her. So uh, she came, came here, she made the pink lemonade sugar paste. We've got the recipe, it's on our recipe website. I have to tell you, it smells and tastes amazing. It really does. And she made this, how many months ago is this, Maria? I think one kilo of ice and Yeah, and how many months ago did she come here? In fact, Nikki will be able to tell you, I reckon it was two to three months ago that she was here and she made this, but it's still soft and moist, it's lovely. And this is not for making models with, well you can if you want to put a bit more tilo in it, but this is basically for rolling out and covering your cakes. So what I'm going to do is finish off this cake for Dawn, and then we're going to get this cake out of the way. Um, so if any, any uh, manufacturers are out there watching, you never know, or if any of you are connected to a manufacturer and they would love to make me pink lemonade sugar paste, then I'll tell you what, ring me, email me, I'm looking for a manufacturer to make sugar paste for us. And we'll start with this stuff if we can, because it's absolutely lovely. It smells amazing, doesn't it? Mm. In fact, I could actually eat it all. Oh. <laughs> so oh, this is really very easy. So all we're gonna do is roll out a nice thin roll. Now today, we are winging everything, okay? And when I say we're winging everything, we genuinely are. Um, I'm on two shifts at the moment. We've got two shifts going on at Sugar and Crumbs because we've had some massive big corporate orders in. And basically, we've had to get a load of temps in. And basically, well, all of us, not just me, Maria, everybody are working all hours God sends. But I am on two shifts. So I'm living on three and a half hours sleep a night, if I can get through it. So when it came to do this Facebook Live, I haven't had a practice. So what we're going to do is we're just going to wing it. And you know that's the way I work best. So all we're going to do, I don't wish camera you can see that on. Yeah, I've got you at the side. Don't worry. I've got you from the side. Yeah. Okay. So let me just get a little bit of glue. 
So all we've done is, and it's not the tools over, don't worry. So all we've done is, it doesn't have to be really nice and neat, this roll, okay? You can make it as neat as you want. If you're a bit OCD with your cake decorating, you know what, make it as neat as you want, but as you know, I love the rustic look. <laughs> so, so it's me today. We've got lots of things going on in the kitchen. So on Monday, I've got a fabulous lady coming. She's actually one of the ladies who's part of the community group. And uh, she is coming on Monday. She's called, she, her Facebook page is called Single Handed Creations. Do pop over and have a look. I might have made that a bit too thin, but you know what, it doesn't matter. Single Handed Creations, okay, she's called Zoe, and she, she'll kill me because I can never get her surname right. So what, what do we think it is, Laura? Is that, it's, it, it, it's K, is it K-A-W? K-A-W? K-A-K. Karkwa. I think it's Karkwa. Karkwa. We okay. think it's Karkwa. She'll kill us, but you know what, on Monday she'll let us, let us know properly. So um, all we're going to do, you can make this thicker actually, I should have probably rolled that a bit thicker. And then we've got the, let me get off my chair. And then we've got the popcorn. And all we're going to do is sit the popcorn in the bowl. You could glue them on, but we're not going to glue them on because I haven't got time. So we're just going to chuck them in like this. We yeah. are literally chucking them in. This wasn't meant to be part of my den, by the way. Dawn left me with this little treat. You should probably be watching now, mortified, going, Carol, what the hell are you doing? But this is our bucket of popcorn. Do you know what? I'm going to pop a couple in there with a stick on. So I've got a couple extra sticking out. You get the idea, don't you? That's a good effect actually with them on the stick because it just gives just them a different depth. Just lifts one or two of them yeah. up, doesn't it? I don't know whether that was in the plan. Of course it was, Carol. <laughs> was that in the plan, was it? Of course it was. <laughs> she made me laugh, Dawn. She left, she, was, she left on Monday and then she said, oh, by the way, Carol, you know when you're next on live, can you just show me how to put the popcorn in? I thought, right, okay then, well, welcome. <laughs> you should probably glue it together but I suppose if you do glue it together if any of the kids want to eat it they can't pick it off then so I think it'll just do like that won't it yeah and then we've got a couple here that are just sticking on the sticks on the side there so let's just push our stick right in and let's have one on the side so it's hanging over the side a more hanging over the side is it looking like a bowl of popcorn yeah Uh, anybody who's new to the kitchen today, um, everything that we're making today is not for consumption, okay? Everything is on dummy cakes. I am hot, I am wiping my face, I am touching my hair, but we I don't sell cakes for a living, never sold cakes for a living, don't want to sell cakes for a living, can't do with the stress. And uh, I think you guys are amazing what you put yourself through, but personally, I've got enough stress in my life without having to make cakes. But um, Everything that's made in here is just for the sugar and crumb staff if they want to eat it. Generally, they never get to see it now because Maria's in first. <laughs> <laughs> the boys at the warehouse say, Carrie, you never bring any cakes anymore. I say, well, I do give them to Maria and then they never get here. <sighs> and look at her, she's a right proper skinny with it. Right, there you go. And I think we'll just put a couple of loose ones. I don't know whether I'm supposed to build that any higher. What do you think, Laura? Is it meant to go in higher, do you think? I think it looks good. Looks good like that. And then we'll just drop a couple here, because the kids always drop some, don't they? We'll drop one round the back. We can go with the chips. Aren't those chips great? Oh, they're, yeah. they're the best chips, aren't they? Made of sugar. Right, okay. <laughs> right, okay. So there we go. Right, there you are. That's it, finished. So she gave you a demo there that she does as a class on one day and I didn't know she was going to do that. So I thought that was really good at Dawn. She does a full class for you to do it. I know you didn't get a chance to have a go, but at least if you watch that live back, you'll know how to set it up yourself and do it yourself. 
So let me get rid of all this now. Hope you like it. But how's our audience room today, Laura? Good, really good. Lots of familiar faces. Well, I won't say that, but names, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, loads, loads of people tuning in. Um, and everyone's saying how much they enjoyed Monday night, so that's really good as well. It's fantastic, isn't it? So we have got one lone fly in here, okay? We did have three, but Marie Laura is the king, the queen of fly killers today. Crikey, she was on it today, aren't you, Laura? Yeah. She got three of them just before we went live. So, uh, there we go, we'll put that in there. That's done. So let's get that cake out of the way. Who's going to make one of those? Yeah, someone's actually put um, Lindsay McIver. Can't wait to try making a burger and chips and popcorn. And I tell you, the way she made the burger and the bun, all it was was um, cake. Did she tell you on the live? I can't remember now. I don't think we covered it exactly. Yeah. But it was only it was only sponge, you know. That she's just. She's just got a sponge, like a six inch sponge, just sort of chip chop chopped it all around like that, hacked at it, then crumb coated it, and then threw buttercream, uh, sugar paste over it. Are you two laughing at? <laughs> 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 and threw sugar paste over it and then sprayed it, so easy. Right, okay, so that's the sugar paste. So if anybody wants to make um, pink lemonade or raspberry ripple or any flavored ice, uh, sugar paste, then we do have the recipe on our site. And I think it just says sugar paste, doesn't it? Is it just called sugar paste? And it was by, made by Mickey Shelvin. She tells you how to do it. And we do have a little video. So give that a go, okay? And Nikki can answer all your questions. Apparently, <laughs> Nikki love. <laughs> right, then our next cake that we're just gonna do and get out of the way. I thought I would take advantage, because I haven't had time to prepare, I thought I would take advantage of using the cakes that Dawn um, made. Now these again are dummy cakes, in fact I might not need those, because I wanted to talk to you about these bad boys. Have we on this camera? Yeah. Is that the best camera? Yeah. So these have been out for a couple of years now I think. They're by a company, they're by a company, the company name is Sugarsoft. Now they come from one of our distributors and these are the gold ones. They only do the gold in this size, okay? These are ready-made roses. And you know when you go, are we on this camera, Laura? Which one am I talking to? Yeah, talking to me. You know now. when you make roses and uh, you're stressed and you've got to make them all, and you know some of you really enjoy making them and some of you make them beautifully and some of you can make them, but they're not all the same size, they're not uniform, and then you feel a little bit despondent, and then you know you get someone like me. You get someone like me or who's just like mad busy, doesn't really have interest in making roses. I, I like to make one. And I have made one, I've made two and I've made three. But if somebody said to me, could you make me some? I'd be running up that road as fast as I can. So these are a game changer. And the other thing is when you make roses, you actually can't eat them afterwards. They go really rock hard. Well, these taste amazing. So I'm just gonna show you the colors first and then we'll put a little set together, yeah? So we've got the gold and the silver and they only come in those sizes. They are on the Facebook wish list, so if you are new and you don't know how it works here, you go to our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, and then along the website, you can add it, well, you've got shop, brand, whatever, but to get to it quicker, go along to Facebook wish list. We're now into August. Drop down into August. The first one is me, Cake Toppers, and this is what we're talking about. So I'm gonna open up a couple of these. So this one here is called Bright Pink. So can you see that, Laura? Yeah. Bright pink, this comes in four sizes, yeah? So I'll show you all the colors and I'll show you the sizes. But this is the, sm this is the second smallest one because they do do a bud, yeah? And then we've got this gorgeous red. Now, the red you're gonna pay more for, they're more expensive. I'm not quite sure why, but they're quite more expensive than all the other colors. So, they're there. there. They're also all suitable for vegetarians and vegans, which is great. Now this one is the lilac. Are we liking all these? Are we loving them? This one's the violet. We've got white. Am I getting closer to this camera? Should yep. I start bringing them down? All right, I'll fit one more. <laughs> fit one more. We can fit one more. Uh, this one is the ivory. 
Now you'll see what's been going on here, don't you? <laughs> hey, some sneaky people. Well, we had a lovely lady in the office yesterday who came in to pick up a click and collect. So she tried one. Um, did you have one, Laura? Who else had one yesterday? Not yesterday. Maybe I had one. <laughs> Somebody else has had one anyhow, but maybe I have one, I don't know. But this is the ivory colour. And this, all, all these, apart from the gold and silver, come in four sizes. So let me just put those down there a minute. Let's break this up a little bit. Then we've got the largest one. Look, look at that beautiful purple. What do you think of that? Without being rude, guys, just colouring your fondant like this. Just, just colouring your fondant and getting it to that colour and then getting yourself prepared and all dirty, mucky fingers and everything else. Just get yourself prepared, with it. you know, it's a game changer. How much are they, Laura? Are they £12.99 for that set? Eight roses, I think they're £12.99. Is £12.99? £13.99? £11.99. £63 mil. £63 mil one. Yeah. So these are the 63 mil ones, okay? These are the 38 mil ones. You get 20 in here. And then I haven't got the next one in the middle, but I have in the variety set. So there's an assorted set. Can you see that assorted set? Yeah. So in the assorted set here, you get 12 roses. So you get the large one, you get the medium one. So this is 63, 50, and 38. You don't get any buds in here. Now, let me just tell you something. This warm weather, this warm weather, if you go sticking your finger in there now, there's a very good chance you could break that petal. So if any of you phone me and go, the petal just broke off, I'm not having them back, okay? Because they're, they're sugar soft, they are soft, but they're soft enough for you to get out. So do be careful how you get them out. So what you need to do is pop your hand on it over the top. Did you hear that thing? And then you can lift it out. Just push the base there, okay? So I'll do that again. It's only because it's this warm weather, and because it's this warm weather, they're settling in. So don't stick your finger in like that, trying to get it out, or with a cocktail stick. Just, so can you see that, Laura? Yeah. I'll take my hand away, but it's probably going to fly out of the way. So just, there we go. So that's what happens when you don't put your hand on. It's going to ping right out. So we'll do it again. Oh, that one's already been done. Let's see if I can catch it. Yeah. So just do it gently, and then once you've got it, there you go, okay? But don't phone me and say, Carol, there's half a leaf, a petal missing, because I know that you will have picked it off, okay? So there's the rose, I've got a nice close-up there. Can you see how they've all been put together individually? It's not a machine that's done this. Well, I don't know if it's a machine. I think it does say they're put together by hand. And they taste gorgeous. How close can we get? Yeah, I'm right in. Yeah. So we've got the three sizes in this box. This is the assorted set. Now the assorted set only comes in two colours. So it comes in this white colour. And it comes in this light pink colour, okay? So just remember, if you go to pick it off, right? Well, that one's, that's loose anyhow. But if you go to pick it off, in this weather, it may well still be a bit tacky. So just, in fact, these are all right, actually. So this set's okay. Just push it, just push your finger up underneath. Just loosen them, yeah? Okay, so, and then we've got the buds. I'm not bringing in all the buds, but then we've got the buds. And you get, um, how many do you get of these? I think you get 38, and these are 13 mil. What's in there, Marie? What's in that one? That box you've got there. Oh, it was just the white one, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, Yeah, yeah. So, 20 of the, of the, 20 of the 38 mil, 38 of the 13 mil, okay? And let me just pass one to Maria, because she's been scoffing these. So here we go, Maria. Are we on here, Laura? Yeah. You want one, don't you, Laura? Maria. No, I'm, I'm all right. I'm you not have one, because you're going on a holiday tomorrow. I'll have one. Very, um, pack it off, sure. Right, can you see on that camera? Uh, just move your hand um, up. Yes, hi, thank you. 
So my warehouse lads have to open up every single one. They're all, they're all, can't fall out, yeah. So they're all safe, but they have to open every single one and check that they're not broke. Well, they have to check that they're picking the right one for you, but they're not broke. So we've got pink daisies here. We've got purple daisies. And in these you get 20, I do believe, don't you? Yeah. 20 daisies. The daisies are a box of 20 for £12.50. And you get white daisies. And they're in boxes of 20s, two trays. And that's good that they're in two trays because if you're only using that one, then you can save them. And the lifetime on these are quite good. They're, I mean, these are up to um, December 19, and I bought these last month. So December 19, so that's 18 months, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's great. Plenty of time to use them. And even then, it's only a best before. They don't actually go out a day. So if you leave them in there, you've got no problems. It's more when they're open. So you know, keep them in an air, to keep them in a container. Right, so let's get those put away and let's decorate a cake quickly. Right, let's give you all these, Maria. Let's put them all in the right box, shall we? You don't have to put those in, we'll stack those up. So what we're gonna do is, we're going to use some white roses. We're going to use these white roses. Yeah. So let me give you those. I'm going to use them actually. Give you those. Let's put those out of the way. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. We'll use some red, some gold, and some white. Shanti Kirsten just said you just saved me a few hours. So I'm Listen, sure she's talking let me tell you now, when you buy away. these, I will be honest, the rep came in and asked me to buy these a long time ago. And at that time when she asked me, I don't think I'd started Facebook Lives then, and I'm not a cake decorator. So I got into this business because I made flavoured icing sugar because I wanted to make cupcakes for the kids, that's how I got into it. So when she came up with these, I thought, oh, I'm not interested really. And to be fair, the pictures on the website didn't sell it. So even on my website, they don't sell it. But I've got the photographer coming in next week and I am going to get in to take some beautiful pictures so that you understand what it is that you're buying, okay? Um, anyhow, I ended up having two sets. They've been under the stairs and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get them out and taste them and me and Maria are like that. Wow, they're mm -hmm. nice, we fell in love. And then I told the rep to come in and I said, right, this is it, we're going to order them. So we have ordered everything in every colour, including the buds. So every colour that's available, we've ordered. The only ones I didn't order was the white luster. And I didn't order that, I've ordered white, because to be fair, that I thought you'd have the white because you'll luster them up yourselves, which is what we're going to do, yeah? So what is that red cake? Now, because that we now because we're winging it today, I don't know what this cake's going to look like. Okay, so this is how it works. Personally, if it was me, 
I would make yourself a nice big rose, like one nice big one to sort of centre there, and then that one you can say to everybody, you make that yourself. You could take that off, you could buy yourself a little white present, acrylic presentation box, and the bride on her cake, she can keep that forever as a topper. But these, all we're gonna do with these is, so where's my, um, we're going to use this stuff. So this is uh, ready-made, ready-made, royal icing and i'm just going to pop it in the microwave a minute just to soften it down so when jan preston said is there a burgundy color we haven't got burgundy no, no. we've only, we've only got, got the colors that we sell red or light pink and that yeah like carol said we've got every one that they sell you know what this is why i didn't color the flavored icing sugars because originally we were going to color them but when we do strawberry milkshake, do we do baby pink, bright pink, light pink, cerise pink? What do we do? Uh, and, and I think when you start coming to colouring stuff, you know, what colour is it? The colour chart is massive. And I think this company would struggle to do every colour. So I think if there's a particular colour, you need to get clever, tell your bride she can't have it. <laughs> as simple as that. Just, just sway her the other way. Become a salesperson and say, you know what? I think this colour looks nicer. Why let them go in? It's like me, I'm going to be in Q next week. You know we're having the new Sugar and Crumbs kitchen sorted out. Well, it's my old Sugar and Crumbs kitchen, but I'm having it sorted out. Well, I want this pink on the wall. It's already on the wall. And I had to go in B&Q and stick my finger in, and then they colour match it, which was great. I don't know whether any of you know you can do that. You can go and do it in any paint shop. So now that I've knocked the wall down and lost my lounge, made this massive big um, sugar and crumbs kitchen, I've got to go back to B&Q and stick my finger in again <laughs> in the machine while they colour match it. So, um, and that's basically when you come in to do flowers for cakes and you let the bride choose any colour they want, you know, so you need to sway them. So if she's on purples or she's on blues, then you need to sway it to white, really, personally. And then you dust them up something so I've just softened this in the microwave this is ready-made royal icing okay and what we're going to do is we're going to get the cocktail sticks and I don't know how this is going to work okay a bit scared myself actually don't know how this is going to work but what we're going to do is I'm just going to stick a cocktail stick in there so I'm going to stick a cocktail stick in there and then we're just going to stick it in the side of the cake here. Yeah, so that you can put quite a bit of force on these as well. Now, unfortunately, somebody's at the other rose, the other big one that we could have done with. So we're just going to stick another cocktail stick. So you can, you can be quite firm with them. But do you know what I would do? Instead of holding them like this, are we on that camera? What are you looking for, Laura? Um, what's the iPad? Pardon? <clears throat> We've lost the iPad. We've lost the iPad. Okay, no worries, we'll just use this camera. Yeah. Can we on these two? Can we use these? Yeah, I'm just going to change the Sorry, we're just going to change the angle a little minute. We've lost the iPad. Yeah. So instead of, um, where are we? I'm on you. Right, are you on me, right? Yeah, okay. you. Don't hold the flower like that because there's every chance that you could break the petals. Hold the flower with your thumb there and push the cocktail stick in. And don't push it in, screw it in, yeah? Because if you push it in, you, you're putting more pressure. But if you screw it in gently, and then what we can do then is we can just go in there, yeah? Let's get another one. Like I say, I don't know how this cake's going to look when we're finished, but I'm only giving you an idea. This is not, this is not, for you to, this is for you just to use the flowers. Now for the leaves, you've all got plenty of moulds. <clears throat> yeah, we've got lovely Katie Sue moulds, we've got Karen Davies moulds, you've all got lovely moulds there for the leaves. Um, I'm just going to put a couple of these around here. I'm only going to decorate this side of the cake. Let's use some of these gold ones now. There's no point me decorating the whole cake, it's a dummy, you only want to see it inside. So, again, pop out, Ooh, sugar, there you go, popped out. So, 
So I've got Maria, Laura wandering around the kitchen now that we've got a problem. What's the problem? No, I'm still on you, but all the side cameras have gone. Is this gone? No, no, that one's gone, yeah. That one's gone as well? Yes. Right, so okay. So what does that mean? We're still on. We're just focused on you. Right. On the front of the cake. And can you zoom yeah, in there? Yep. Yeah. Right, okay. Don't worry. Can Laura, can... Sorry guys. We have spoke to the people who have set up this system for us and they have said it's our Wi-Fi, but our Wi-Fi is working fine, so there's something clearly wrong while we're losing the camera. Can we set the camera away? We're just going to try and set it now. But in the meantime, did you see that I popped that and it jumped out the carton because I didn't put my hand over? Okay, but it still survived. No breakages. I know you can't see it very well from there, but there's actually no breakages at all. So. Again, we're going to screw one of these in and Laura's got to see if she can get us back on and we're just going to pop that one into the yeah just going to pop that in there and you'll see that I just pulled this rose out a little bit I'm going to pull that rose out a little bit going to do these cakes quickly. There you go, cut another one. Girls are sorting the cameras out, don't worry, don't know what you can see. Is everyone still with us? Everyone yeah. still happy? So I'm just going to take this rose out a minute. So the good thing is with these, because they're soft, and you know, there's nothing worse when you make a rose and you're fiddling around with it like this, and all that hard work you spent all night doing roses, and then you make them lovely paper thin as well, because these are paper thin. And then you make them lovely paper thin, and um, as you put them in your cake, you break off. So, there we go. So, I love it, Laura. The Laura, and, Laura and Maria are just like John, they do these funny little actions. We're back on. Pardon, we're back on, are we? Yeah. There we go, that's great. So, all we're going to do there is just do that. I'm going to push that down, we're just going to decorate it that way. And then we're going to pop a couple of little roses in here. I'm not saying this is a be all and end all, I'm just showing you how to use them. Which camera are we on, Laura? So I'm just showing you how to use them. Sorry, Maria. Now, obviously, you can, because these are cocktail sticks and they're food safe cocktail sticks, okay, you can put these straight into the cake. If you wanted to, you can use um, a product called Safety Seal, which we have in stock. And safety seal comes in a tub and it's a gel. You pop it in the microwave and then take it out and you pop your stick in to the gel. You pull it out, you let it dry, and then it can go straight into the cake and it won't cause any problems. Or you can use a, a posy pick. So you push a posy pick in and then you drop your flowers in there. So as I say, we're not really doing any. So I push that on there. I'm just going to take my flower off. See, I want you to see how rough I am with these flowers. So there you go. I'd already made the hole. And there we go. I'm just going to push them on there. We've not broke a flower yet. So how many of you have broke flowers so far? So well, these have been chucked everywhere. So just remember, pop, hold your hand over when you go to pick them out. Is it looking all right this? I yeah, it's lovely. Doing backwards. That gold is absolutely gorgeous against the red and the gold from the other night. Yeah, and this is the Kerry Griffiths mould. Okay, from Katie Sue, the continuous piping mould. I don't know whether I put it in the oh, wish list actually. Continuous uh, filter mould. I might not put this in the wish list, I will put it back in. And you can buy them singly, okay, and you can buy them in um, in a pair for two. I've done a discount if you buy two. So again, I'm going to pull my rose off now because I've done the thing in there. And then we're going to put our rose on. So I'm still not quite happy with it. So you know what? Push that down a bit more, Carol. And then we put our rose on. And I haven't damaged a rose yet, have I? How good's that? So we'll just put a third gold one on. This is not. Don't don't reward me on technique on there uh, on how to decorate a cake because I've no idea. But <laughs> I'm just trying to show you that with all this fiddling around. You can. Where would I put another one here? Should we put one yeah. there? Yeah, I think one there would be nice, wouldn't it? And then we are going to. So 
So we'll just push it in a bit more. There we go. Does that look okay? Yeah. Right. So then you could either do your leaves if you wanted to with um, with sugar base mold. So you can use we've got leaves. We've got rose leaves by Katie Sue. I will put that in the wish list afterwards. We've got some maple leaves um, molds. Out. We've got plenty of leaves molds, but I will put them in the wish list afterwards. So all I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put my buttercream in the bag and we're just going to squeeze a couple of leaves on. So just remember, we're only doing the front of the cake and all it is is just to show you about the sugar, these sugar soft molds. It's not a cake decorating in this one. It's just to show you. So all we're going to do then is I am just going to Excuse my really vibrant green here. This one is the fractal colours. This is the vivid green. It's very much like the pistachio colour splash as well. And um, just to clarify, the the two pack of the KT2 continuous quilting mould actually contains two different sizes. Yeah. So it's not two of the same. No, one's um, the mini yeah. and one's the large. The one that's on this cake is the large. The mini is great if you want to do cupcake toppers or if you want to do a plaque, you know. So there we go. So they look a bit random, these colours. I'm sorry about that. But it was just that I wanted to sort of put something together for you to show you what we could do. Let me just see what we're going to do on here now. I'm sorry. There we go. So that's all I'm going to show you really on that cake. Is that okay? Lovely. Yeah? Lovely. Be good, you Laura. That's really nice. Let's to keep a job. So, <laughs> <laughs> and after all that, I didn't use the royal No, so Leigh Lawton's <laughs> just said, right, if Carol got the royal icing out, she's going to use the cocktail. <laughs> <You> see, <laughs> I'm glad one of you is paying attention. <laughs> that was my trick question. And yeah, so basically all I wanted to do is I am extremely excited about these. Where's those buds? We could do some buds actually. Where's those buds? as well so uh, just to sort of make the leaf sure tip nozzle it. that's just been used is a 366 it's a Wilton 366 it's a Wilton 366 and I call it Big Mama if that isn't its official name that's just <laughs> the name I call it because it's massive and um, you know I, I really do like it so all I'm going to do here is and you could put these on wires you know you don't need to put it on a cocktail stick but um, I didn't think about wires, but that's what happens when you're not a cake decorator, isn't it? So, these are a bit a bit harder, these. They're not they're not hard, really, but this box has been thicker open for a while. At the bottom, do you Yeah, think? they're not thicker, but no, it isn't. It's because they've been open for several months. I bought these before Christmas, and it was only because me and, Laura, me and Maria were in the kitchen and I was clearing out, and then I found the box, and that's what's actually brought me, because I've had them that long. And I'd already scuffed a couple, and then I said to Maria to try them, and we, we really liked them, and that's why I pulled the rep in and said, you know what, let's give these a go. So let's put one there. I think the bud actually helps finish it off a little bit, actually, doesn't mm. it? Yeah? What do you think? Yeah, it's lovely. I really like them. So, um, so these are a bit harder, but that is probably because I didn't cling film it back up again afterwards. Oh, I just need a little bit of a screwdriver into these. <laughs> but they do taste, they are soft to eat them. So let's see where we could uh, stick one in here. So we could stick one in there, just to fill that one up. I may as well do something with this, finish it off. 
But the other thing is as well, which I brought some paint in, just broke my stick. So we'll get, we'll get some paint out in a minute. It's probably be a good idea. I'm gonna paint these afterwards, okay? But it'd probably be a good idea to paint them before. But the reason I'm gonna paint them afterwards is because the way that I'm holding these, by the time I put paint on them, I may well ruin them by having paint all over my fingers. So, let's see, sorry guys. I just need to, let's go in here. Right, so let's push that stick in there. There's a couple of golds, so let's use the sugar flare one. Let's give it a good uh, shaky shaky. And have I brought the um, gold in from Colour Splash? Probably not. That wasn't was it? <laughs> right, okay. So let's just try, and we can probably. Let's just say this, the lid as well on. Yeah, Laura, you do that. Do you know what? Let's uh, shake up the bronze as well. That's probably a different. Oh, I have got the gold. I was going to say, I thought I saw it last night. This is the colour splash gold. So, after melting my royal icing, basically, use the royal icing to put it into a mound in the middle. That's what I was going to do, Elaine. Uh, put it into a mound in the middle, and you can sit your flowers on that. But then I thought, oh, I'll use the cocktail stick. So it was a bit of a pointless exercise, but it also lets you use two choices. So if you're not a cake decorator and you want to make that cake for your mom or your friend, you know, you can do. So let's take this off. This is a lovely gold as well. Can you see that, Laura? Oh, well, we're hit by the Sugar on Crumbs logo. Could you go towards the cake a bit, please? That's it. Yeah? Yes, yeah, lovely. Nice. And I think it's exactly the same gold yeah, as that, isn't it? Yeah, it's Yeah. So let's get my tiniest brush that we've got. And let's see. Now, I'm, I'm going to probably make a pig's ear of this, but let's see if we can uh, put a bits of uh, gold on here. So you don't need to paint it all. All we need to do is just blend it in. I'm just going to use a slightly thicker brush. Now, like I say, you can use moulds for your leaves, which I quite like, but if I'm honest, I, I do like the buttercream. I think the buttercream leaves have a bit more body to it and it doesn't matter if you if you knock a bit of this gold and it doesn't all go on and it smudges because roses are not perfect are they so you see how just just highlighting bits of it can you see that okay yeah Laura? yeah i think that brings that to life don't you yeah it's lovely does everybody else like that yeah that's like you never know, I might get good at this. <laughs> right, we've still got the next session to do yet. Let's just wait and see. So there we go. Let's turn that round there so you can see. Any questions, Laura? No, there's no questions. We're just saying, um, you know, people are saying different suggestions for the roses you could you know how far you could go with them if you wanted to decorate them or if you wanted to leave them plain yeah well, i'm going to dust some in a minute <clears throat> and then um someone said you could add calyx to them yeah you know, just obviously it depends how far you want yeah, to go yeah absolutely i'm only just telling you about the roses right right there you go i think that'll do so basically 
you know what you're all talking on there which is brilliant so you've come up with ideas I'm not a cake decorator I'm a salesperson really and I only like to sell what I believe in so as I say I've had these these those buds anyhow I've had those in for some time and then I just can't believe it when I tasted them and I thought well they're great what we're doing why are we not selling these bad boys so I do believe in these and I believe in them for you people who don't like making roses scared of making roses you know what this is a very cheap option look at the price but even if you decide to buy three or four different packets of different sizes remember there's lots in there so you could use those roses for lots of different occasions you're not putting them all on but the other thing is look at your time look at the cost of sugar paste look at the cost of your tylo look at your cost of your flower modeling paste your time your effort put it all together and then the freaking thing breaks when you put it on the cake who's done that we've all done that haven't we so anyhow that's just my little put together hope you like it it is a throw it together so the quilting mold is um kerry griffiths from katie sue that's his like, quilting mold you could also use the patchwork quilt, um, cutters they've got a quilting cutter so if you don't want to use them all because this is all sugar paste you could actually put your sugar paste on and then use the patchwork um, cutters cutter and then you put that in and imprint it round your cake okay and that's brilliant it's really cheap as well so I haven't put that in the wish list we must remember all these things that I say to put in the wish list but you could use that to put that effect on Dawn was here and showed you how to use the airbrush these are the flowers and you know what with all that lot together you've knocked up a wedding cake pretty rapid so I know we've only done one side yeah, but I hope you like it. What do we think? Loads of likes and love hearts. Yeah. Catherine David has just said, wow, you've, you've decorated an entire cake and I've made three roses. So in that time... Well, I'm impressed she's made three roses. <laughs> I'd still be on rose one. I'd still be rolling her out, getting them nice and thin. Right, okay. So let's get that out of the way now then. Okay, we're going to stick that up there, out of the way. And um, so Catherine, just to answer your question, it does depend which flower you want which roses you want and which size you want it depends on the price and how many you're in a pack yeah so the easiest thing to do is head over to the website and have a look through the wish list but not yet not yet no wait until we finish on the facebook live but everything's on there and it's it, they're really really easy to find the other option on the website is the search option which is at the top of the page and if you just type in sugar soft all the different options will appear there or you can do shop by brand and again look for sugar soft towards the bottom Right, brilliant. So let's just dust a couple up and then I need to move on, okay, because I have got a lot to do and I've only got an hour left. Can I have a wet cloth drawer? I think it's just to wipe my board. So as per usual, Carol McFarlane style, you know, John said, Carol, can you not just do one product in a session? And I go, well, yeah, but I haven't got time. I need to show them this as well. So the new Katie Sue Unicorn Mold, fabulous. They launched it on Sunday, we had it in our shop on Saturday, we couldn't launch it until they did, it's on the website, it is amazing. This is the unicorn mould. Go up a bit please, that's it, thank you. Yeah, I'm not going to dust one of these up because I'm not artistic enough, but a lady on the group has done them and they are beautiful and all she's done is put in the sugar paste and she's dusted over them in pink and then she's highlighted them different colors i will have a play with it but just not today live yeah <laughs> right okay so let me get rid of that one so that's in stock as well and then let's dust up a couple of flowers and then let's get on to some lace now i have forgot something and i'm gonna have to ask you to go and get it can you go in the other kitchen you know the pull out drawers the little thin pull-out drawers. I need the gold spray, the silver spray, and the pearl, the uh, colour splash ones. Yeah. Right. Okay. So if you could luster these up as well. So I think where's that? Um, where's those white ones that we had before? I really didn't need to film all these. So um, can you pass me the kitchen roll, Laura? Thank you. Air conditioning. Is it cold? Is it? Do you want to just it? lift up the back at the top? Sorry, I'm, I'm, on, I'm boiling. And then it hopefully it'll blow our way. Yeah. Right, so let's pop out our rose. There's one. And then we've got some nice blush here. So what we could do then is we could put a little bit of blush in there. Okay take off the excess 
and then we could actually just, I don't know, can you see very well on there, Laura? Just, just about picking it up. Is it? But you could actually just deepen some of it, some of the colour. Can you see? You don't actually, which, which camera do we need the, to film? This one, I'm on this one. So you don't okay, need to put loads of colour in, but you could put a bit more in the centre there and then just change that pink. Yeah, I think if you just compare it, I was just about to say that, if you just compare it, can yeah, you see? definitely can see that difference. Yeah, so you could do that. Then what we could do then is we could, let's see, have we got a gold here? I'm sure I've got a gold in. So Vicky Chapman, the gold that Carol used to highlight onto the roses is an edible paint bag, colour splash. Um, and yes, you can use it straight from the tub. It's, it's already a pre-mixed liquid. You don't have to dilute it no, or mix it don't. with anything. No. It's absolutely perfect. I don't know what this colour is. I thought I brought some gold in, but let's do this one. So we could, we could, no, that one doesn't really show, does it? Wrong colour, let's put it on there. The thing is, my other Sugar and Crumbs kitchen where we store stuff, you will see that, so you could luster this, make this a nice skin tony one, actually. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice, isn't it, actually? Yeah, so we could do that then. And then what you could do then, so you could do that there, so we could just dust it all. And what we could do then is get the paint, We get the paint then, and then we could just edge around it. And we change that white rose to a colour that we didn't know we had. Can you see that? Yeah, it's lovely. That's actually come up really nice, yeah, God. It has. I'm getting good at this. I can't believe it. Maria, you missed it. <laughs> okay, that was quite that's lovely. It's, like, it's almost like an antique effect, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and that is with, that's with the shell, Nurka Rose, the fractal colour. It's not that. It is. Shell Nurka Rose, isn't it? Did we put the wrong lid on? Yeah, that's not that colour. It's a problem with people. <laughs> it's a skin tone. <laughs> it's a skin tone. I knew it was a big shell. I was thinking I can't see anything shiny about it. No. Right, that's a skin tone colour. <laughs> but look at that, that skin tone colour. How good is that? Yeah? It's lovely. That's lovely, isn't yeah. it? And then we've used a colour splash gold. So, and this colour splash gold is edible. You can eat it. You don't need to kill your customers. Right, okay then, so, so there, here's the shell one, sorry I have the wrong button. <laughs> the problem is we get people using all the stuff and then we don't know what it is, so the wrong lids have been put on. Right, so let's dust this one. This is the shell one. So then we could luster this up. Can you see this on the camera? It's just picking you it up with the light. It. Yeah, it's just picking that light up. Can you just see that here? Yeah. yeah. Just to highlight that, isn't it? Just put a bit yeah. of shine on it. So let's get the other pink one. Can you see? Yes. Luster? Can you see the difference? Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah? So, um, what else can we do? Let's do a white one now. I'm making a right mess here, aren't I? Did somebody say they wanted blue before? Someone, um, wanted, someone was asking if they, they did a navy rose, but yeah, you could dust them quite easily. Well, I think so, yeah. So, look at that there. That's gorgeous. So there you go. Look at that. Oh, I like that. And what we can do is we'll just make it a bit deeper in the middle there. So we'll just put a bit extra on there. I mean, this is just rough. Look how pretty that looks. You know, mm. there's no artistic talent there, is there? So, um, should we put rose on there? I'll tell you what I have got. No, we'll just leave that one. We've got the bronze here, which is lovely as well. I'm quite conscious, got to be finished by 12 because we've got to start playing with our firm inputters. So we've got five minutes. So this is the bronze colour. This is lovely. Let's 
I'll just stick this on a, a white one. Um, so someone's just said, it's not a silly question. She said this might be a silly question, but it's not at all. Ask away, we get exactly. asked all. <laughs> no, but it's really not a silly question. Oh um, if you're dusting or painting or airbrushing the white roses, would you colour the underside too? Yes, personally, I would if it's on show. I would go even if you, if you like the, the white one that Carol's just done. You just drop it down a little bit, Carol. Perfect, thanks. The white one that Carol's just done with the pink dust, I would very subtly go over with a little bit of pink dust just to, to make it, just to finish it really. I think it would definitely need just a hint of colour. You wouldn't have to do a lot to it because the dust covers it quite well. You've got to remember guys, I'm not a cake decorator, okay? So this is where I need your input. This is why I liked our group being called the community group. We're all there to help each other. You know, I mean, I don't know all the ideas. I'm just giving you what I can do to get that bronze is lovely. Yeah, I really, I really like that, how it is as well. Yeah the white with the bronze tip. Yeah, so you could probably go a bit mad and just it a bit darker in there, I suppose, couldn't you? Mm. Don't know. But you could do overkill as well. You know, sometimes less is more. But then, um, so that's those there. And let's try and do a blue one. This isn't navy, but let's do a blue one. Running out of big white roses. Oh, oh, that's really nice. Me. That does look like an antique rose, that, yeah. doesn't it? Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, that's really nice. You know, and then if we could just darken it in the middle there. Oh, I like that. Yeah. And she's right, really. Yeah. You know what? Why not? Let's let's let's. I think if it's it going around. to be on show on the cake, yeah. I think you do need to finish I mean, it. I think if you're, I think if you're dusting them and they're just being light all over all you need to do is this yeah. really but i think if you want to completely change them i.e airbrush them then yeah I think you should wow i like that that's gorgeous do you like that yeah do you like that great isn't it oh what else what other color can we have <laughs> what else have we got here oh look at this we've got claret here so we've got a combination of colors that we're using here we've got um fractal colors and um the color splash range so let's just do a couple where I can and then we're going to quickly clean up and then I'm going to show you how to use FMM cutters that I've never used in my life before but we're going to give it a go. Ooh. Right, let me move these roses out of the way because I've just pinged dust all over there. Let's get it out of the paint. Wow, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? I like that. Isn't that lovely, that? And then what you can do is and just and just get your edges even more. And they're darkening up on the edges. Can you see that? Yeah, it's really picking that up. It's right, how close good. do you mean this comes to the camera? Or is that close enough? That's fine, yeah, yeah. Isn't that lovely that? So then, see you don't have to be fragile with these bad boys. Look at that. Any round. Just give them a bit more of the dust. Um, the blue that Carol's used is an ocean blue and it's a colour splash dust. Here we go. Ocean blue. So we've used ocean blue. We've used dusty pink today. We have used petal pink. We've used skin tone for, <laughs> for this one, not shell nurka. Okay. So we use skin tone. So I was checking Laura because as I told you, her contract's due up in August. <laughs> so I'm just making sure that she is paying attention to these Facebook lives, okay? So then we've got the pink there, uh, pink roses that we've just changed. We did the white with the colour splash bronze. You must give them a good shake. See that grassy bit on the end there? Just scrape it down in the pot, shake it all in. So we've done the white and we've done the gold edging on there which I've now sprinkled with another colour, but you can still see the gold, can't you? Yeah. yeah. And we put the gold on the white flowers. Oh, actually, that does look good, that does look it? really good. Oh, that's not bad, I knocked that one up together all right, didn't I? Woohoo, getting good at this. Right, okay then, so let's put these lids on now. But all the fra fractal range, 
are amazing. And as you know, Dawn has um, got the exclusive rights to Fractal. I introduced them to her. I introduced her to the whole range and um, she just loves them. So she has the exclusive rights, Dinky Doodle. You can buy them from me as a supplier or you can buy them from Dinky Doodle, no problems at all. I think she's only selling the airbrush colours, whereas I'm selling all the colours. The colour splash range, you know I've been a fan of the colour splash range. I've been very dedicated to them, you know, and the reason I didn't sell that other company's products and I'm not being big headed, I did have an account with them and I, it wasn't a case somebody, I think one supplier put on their website that everybody was jealous because they didn't have an account. Well, I didn't need to be jealous because I had an account. The only thing is I wouldn't sell them until they gave me their certificates and they never gave me their certificates. Now, they may have them. They may have them and that's fine and when they've got them I would love to stock their products but I've had a, I've had a contract I've had a, an account with them for nearly two years not bought anything off them because I never got their certificates but I've always used the color plus splash range I got their certificates and they are great okay now the color splash range I don't know if they're completely vegetarian and vegan because some of them aren't um, some of them aren't but I do know the fractal range are, yeah? So I'm just gonna put these back in these. And you know the good thing that about this tray is, off, after you've dusted each one, you can just stick them back in, couldn't you? Mm. And save them in there. That's great. So you can do them one night, decorate them all up, and then put them all on your cake the next day. So um, Jan Jarvis just said, if you do decide to dust them or paint them, um, obviously and a lot of people will already know about steaming your sugar flowers afterwards and it will yeah. just set the dust on. Yeah. It will give them a slightly different effect because it adds a sheen to them. So that's yeah. just a personal choice as you, as you went to it, if you want to steam them. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, you can steam them and the professionals do steam them. I don't. But the professionals do steam them because it, it makes the colour stay on. You could also do a light spray of edible glaze, but a very light spray. Do you remember when I did that cup and saucer the other week? Well, part of my meltdown was, is that I did what Dawn told us not to do with the airbrush. I went straight up to the spray, and then I up to, the, up to my cup and saucer, and I sprayed it thick on, really thick, and the whole color run. So it really needed to come away and spray a light spray. So you know when you do your hairspray, you're supposed to go like that once, but then you've got those people that you see that are, and they have a big quip. Do you two do that? <laughs> I'm not saying anymore. Right, okay, let's get rid of those. Let's wash my hands and let's show you the next thing. So we've got some edible cake lace that I want to show you as well, very quickly. Okay, so let me wash my hands a moment. Any questions, shout them out, Laura's answering them. I am. There's no questions, to be quite honest. We've, um, we've gone through the questions as, we, as we're doing them, to be honest. There's just lots of comments saying people love Dawn's airbrush set. Um, Catherine saying she always learns so much, she didn't even know about steaming them. Um, and no, Pam, you haven't missed the faces. We've not got round to got them yet. yet. <laughs> I am going for a little mini holiday this afternoon, and I'm supposed to be at the airport for three o'clock. I haven't even packed my suitcase yet because I just haven't stopped working. And Karen Naylor came here last night and I just worked through the night. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know, I'm pleased to be laughing because I haven't packed my suitcase. I don't even know if I've got any clothes yet. I'm waiting, waiting to see if we've got any. <laughs> well, they've all been washed, I just don't know if they've been ironed. So, um, and I don't know what John's got, I don't care really. Right, so last thing, let's just quickly do these. Right, so we had cake lace in the other week, okay? So again, Cake lace is amazing. If you can do cake lace, absolutely amazing. Great, and, and if you've got the patience to do it. But sometimes we need a quick fix. So these are £3.50 recommended retail price. I'm doing them at £3.25. So let's just get them out of the bag a minute. So some of them I've opened. And we're gonna spray some of them up. I'm gonna tell you about them in a minute. I'm gonna dust a couple of them. So I just didn't know if it opened the art heart, so let's see. It's open some. Pardon? It's open some. Yeah. Open that one. Uh, open that one. Yeah, I'm right. Give it to 
we've got people working. Can't have them having a rest, watching me do all the work. Uh, done that one. We've got this one. We should have six in total. So, should have six in total. So this is a butterfly. So the pictures on the website for these are shocking. They're not my pictures. Um, I put them on the website. Now let me just tell you, I put the sugar roses and these on the website last night. I was working till two o'clock in the morning putting them on. I haven't put the ingredients on or how to use them. All I've done is put the name on, the price on, the quantity I've got in stock. I'm going away for the weekend. I will jump on my computer and do a bit of work while I'm there, but you know what, for once I'm actually going to take some time out. I'm going to see the grandchildren in Mallorca. I believe it's going to be in the 40s there, and I, I just think, you know, I'm gonna have a break this weekend. I really need to just chill out, and um, and because I've just, it's just been madness. So there's six designs, let's do this one. Sorry, Andrea, I did miss your question. It, it, I did notice it before. We do sell the dusting brushes. There's a lot of different brushes that are available to buy. So they're individuals and they're also in sets. Most of the ones that Carol's used today are from sets. Um, and the big dusting brushes, I think they're, some of those are in a set. And yeah, then there's uh, the mermaid these, tail these ones as well. Two colours in those. Yeah. And then there's the mermaid tails ones. And then there's the... Um, there's the unicorn ones which are out of stock, but I've just ordered some more. The gold mermaid tail ones we've got, which is a really, it's a gorgeous shaped brush. Yeah, um, it's it, a actually. small handheld one, it's absolutely gorgeous. Right, so we've got this cake here, another one of Dawn's, okay? So what can we see here? Um, so can we, if I get you from this, let I me think. just see, if I get this on here, because I just want them to see. So. Right, let's chat to you. So, cake lace. You want to make your cake lace, you buy your mat, you buy your pearlized stuff and it doesn't work. Some of us it works for, some of it doesn't work for. Let me tell you now, it's user error. If it doesn't work, it's always user error. And you know what? Some of us are good at some things and some of us are useless. But that person who's useless at one thing is brilliant at another. So sometimes we just have to give in and go, you know what, I'm useless at it. But if you've got somebody who comes in urgently, wants some cake lace, there's six designs. So I'm not sure. I'm just going to put them on there so you yes, can see them better can, that way. Definitely. Or can you see them better that way? Either or. Right. As long as it's against so, the colour. Yeah. That's one. Don't ask me what they're called because I can't remember now. Yeah, I've got them in the bag. So yeah, Laura, you, there they are. You can shout out the names. So what do we think that one's called? Is this so a vintage this one? This one is floral cake. Oh, floral. Floral yeah. cake lace. Floral cake that's lace. That one. Isn't that pretty? Yeah? And then watch this. Are we on this camera? Yeah. Look at that. Now, obviously, if I really rip it or something it like that. It will rip. It yeah. will rip, okay? So I'm only showing you gentle girls, but it's nice and thick. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay? We could roll it up like this. So I just want you to see how flexible this stuff is. Let's squash it together. And the other thing is as well, you don't have to use it as a whole strip, do you? No, you can you cut, cut in between the design. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and I, I have just broke it there, but I have done a lot of moulding with it, but it's not ruined. Because no. when you stick it on, it will stick on. Okay? Now this is enough to cover a six inch cake, all right? So we have got a gap. So if you're doing an eight inch or a 10 inch or a 12, you're gonna need more. So it's only enough. So I have ripped it there, but you have, you did see what I had to do to it, to rip it. But when we put the dab of water on, it will just stick down, yeah? So this one's the floral one. And then this one I think is the butterflies. butterflies. Yeah. So can you see that one? Yep, yeah, that's lovely. Now, there's a right way and a wrong way. Can you see the indentation there? Can you see? Yes. That's the back. That's the front. In fairness, it doesn't matter which way you use it. It's your personal choice. So if you want to use it this way, just make sure your butterflies are the right way around. If you want to use it this way and pick up some of the colours, then do that. That's entirely up to you. There's no right or wrong way. But officially, that is the correct way. So that's butterflies, yeah? Yep. Are we liking these girls? Yeah, it, def it is edible. Sam just asked, edible. is it edible? It's definitely edible. It's yeah. by House of Cake and it's an 
edible cake decoration. Now what's this one? This I is haven't one got that one. You haven't got this one, so we've got a spare bag. Throw those empty bags over there. The one bag that we haven't got, and you'll find it. In fact, let me come back to this one, because we've got this one, haven't we? This, right, so oh. this one's Art Deco. So this one's Art Deco? Yeah. So this one here, you could have it like this. Aura, you watching? Yeah. Or you could have it. Can you drop it onto the blue one? You can have it like that. Thanks. Yeah? Do you like it? That's gorgeous, that one. Yeah. Which one's this one called, Art Deco? Art Deco. Art Deco. I will get nicer pictures. A process of elimination will bring us to this one because it'll be the last packet. So this one is the, it's hearts, this one. It's love hearts, isn't it? So what's this one called? Heart. Heart. And you also remember, you don't have to have it there. You could have it in the middle. You could have it at the top. You could have it at the top there. Yeah, you could even cut out the hearts if you wanted to. So you could cut out the hearts, cut out, you know, there's loads of them on there. You could cut your own little pattern out. So that one's the hearts. This is a beautiful one, this one, right? What's this one Blossom. called? Blossom. Blossom, okay. So this is beautiful. And again, in the middle, I think maybe if I show it there, does it show yes. it better? Yes, yeah, it does. Yeah, look at that, isn't that stunning? Do we like that? Yep. Yeah, in the middle, down the bottom. Blossom. So we should have one packet left, Laura. Vintage. Is this it? Vintage? It must be. Yeah, so there you go. So this one's the vintage one. Yeah? So then we take those out of the way, put them out of the way, and then we can do a couple of things with them, right? So where's those sprays, Maria, that I just asked you to get me? So we've got the Colour Splash sprays. These are excellent. We also do the PME sprays as well. But I'm going to talk about Colour Splash, okay? So um, I want to talk about those because they're cheaper. So let's just... Don't spray them on the cake. Spray them here. When they do come in your box, okay, I'm not going to put these in an envelope, so they will come in your box and they'll be at the bottom. They won't be on top of your parcels. They'll be on the bottom. We'll put a piece of paper over the top and they'll be there. Nothing can indent them, okay? So, let's see what this looks like. Just to change the colour a bit. Smells gorgeous, though. Might not have got all this, sorry. Have you covered in spray? Yeah. Right, sorry. Right, and then what we can do then is, just so you can see the difference, Shouldn't put it on wet, but this is just for speed. So can you see that nice yeah. silver spray? Yeah? So we've got that one. So let me put that one over there to dry. Cake again. We nearly lost the cake. So we could do uh, it in gold. We, oh, you didn't bring in the gold, did you? Right, you can find the gold. <laughs> Maria sat. It's been here too long. <laughs> Can't sat for no more. What would we do without her? Okay. Right, so this is a silver one. Yes, shows that they are edible. Where's my blue cake? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I have to save it. <laughs> This one shows up so well. Yes, it does. Can you see that? Can you see it's silver? Yeah, just about. Just yeah. About. You can see it's silver in Nikki Shevlin's saying just spray half of it. And you can, oh. we can see the contrast then. Of okay, course. Yeah. Of course. There you go. There's always one clever dick in here, isn't there? So. <laughs> <laughs> Stick that over there. Right, okay. Well done, Nikki. Why did I not think of that? Right, okay, next one. Here we go, hearts. Should we do this in the rose gold? Yes. Let's the do the rose gold. gold. Yep. So just here in the rose gold. Good idea. Right, so I think. 
that's it in the rose gold there. You see that? Yeah. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. The hearts are upside down. Yeah. And then let's dust, let's dust luster them as well. So what have we got that we can luster with? So let's do um, a nice lavender. Just to give you all the options. So who's going to buy ready-made stuff? Great yeah. for an emergency. Yeah, that's exactly you know, what someone's just said. You know, this in stock. You know, great for emergency. Three pounds twenty-five each. But think about it. You haven't got to buy the pearl eye stuff. You haven't got to buy the mat. You haven't got to worry all night. Is it going to set? You know. So don't get me wrong. I think the cake lace is absolutely amazing. And definitely, those people who bought it, you know what? Your your opportunity to create something special is much better than this. But this is a quick fix, yeah? So let's just do that. That looks lovely. So we've, we've sprayed one and we've just dusted the other one, yeah? And we've dusted it with the Fractal Lavender. These Fractal colours are amazing, you know? I can understand why Dawn wanted to have exclusive rights to these. They really are amazing. So that was that one, and then what else have we got here? Uh, I don't think I really need to do any more, do I? What no, I think you've got it. I don't really need to do any more because we need to get onto faces. So this is my big moment now, faces. Right, okay then, let's move this lot out of the way. Yeah, faces, 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 clean that. Let me get a clean cloth. And then we're gonna start talking about the then faces. Let me wash my hands a moment. We're all washing our hands. Do you see what I'm just going to have to clean up there? <laughs> see, Laura wants to keep a job after her holidays. <laughs> clean it up. Well, spray a bit spray. The one thing she's sure of is Sean doesn't want to do camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we're a good team, us lot, aren't we, us girls? Tell you, we work better than them boys, us lot, we're on it. Might have a bit of shimmer. Don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Right, so I've showed you the roses, I've showed you the edible lace, I hope you like that. Now I'm going to show you something I've never done before. So we're all going to have to work together. Sorry if I touch my hair, anybody watching, I'm not going through all that again. So, I'm using the Saraceno colours. What do I think about colouring up? You can buy white colour, white sugar paste. For this, you do need, not petal paste, not flower paste, you do need either modelling paste or you do need um, sugar paste with some Tylo in. And uh, Tylo, we do sell in three sizes. Um, we sell it in 50 grams, 80 grams, and 120 grams. And basically, if you've got sugar paste, you put half a teaspoon of this to 250 grams of sugar paste, knead it all in, put it in a Ziploc bag, leave it for half an hour, 45 minutes, a bit longer, and it'll firm up into modeling paste. You can leave it overnight if you want. So we're going to make some of these. Now, never made them before, and I did want to have a go, but didn't get time. So, you come along to Sugar and Crumbs website, you buy this little gizmo here, and it's called Mix and Match Face Cutter, yeah? And then all you get, that's all you get. And you get that, and you think, oh my God, what are we gonna do? Well, I don't know either, so we're gonna see. So, what I did is, I phoned Laura this morning in a panic, and I went, Laura, we're gonna go live with this, didn't I, Laura? Yeah. So we're gonna go live, I'm gonna be under pressure, and I'm under stress, and I'm gonna start not being able to see. So can you print me some big pictures? <laughs> <laughs> Please, Laura. So Laura, to jump on, you can get these actually off the FNM, FM, FMM website, okay? You can go on there, or you can just go into Google, put mix and match, um, mix and match, face cutter pictures, go to images and then pick them off and then you can print them off, yeah? And off on the FMM, in tiny little boxes here, they've got each stage. So let's have a little go of the tiger. I don't know how many we're gonna make in 45 minutes, but let's see what we can do, okay? So let's make the tiger. 
Now, there's a lovely lady who's in our group. I don't know whether she's watching today. Doreen Griffin, is she with us today? I'm not sure if I've seen her name. She's great, Doreen. She follows us. I've never met her. She buys products off me. And, um, and she loves the group. She's learned so much. And if I make something, even if I muck it up, she goes and makes it better than me. But she's well chuffed, well chuffed. Anyhow, she bought this cutter and that's what inspired me to sort of, right, I need to do this. And, um, and she said to everybody that they were easy. And I asked her if they were easy. And she went, Carol, I can't believe how easy they are. So we're gonna see, yeah? So in the cutter. So all we've done is Saraceno this is. And if anybody's got Saraceno, you'll know how delicious it is. I personally haven't got the time or energy to be um, mixing up colours, okay? So I prefer to buy it in, have it all in, and then keep it in my little Ziploc bag, yeah? And all I did with these is, these are ones that we had opened before, and I might have to stick it in the microwave again in a minute, is I just pop them in the microwave to soft them. So I put all these together in one bag, but you shouldn't. Put them in individual bags and then put them in an airtight container or a ziplock bag but anyhow so let's get on with the tiger first so we've got the tiger let's move all that out of the way anybody made any of these so far or who wants to make them afterwards so well, what we're going to do yeah, there's loads of people saying that they hope they're easy they just look a bit i think like you say you just get that one cutter and you think, thing, don't you think what <laughs> no exactly I think the same. Well, we're going to work through this together, girl. So sorry, I can't tell you how hot I am. I can't believe I'm going to New York, and then I'm going to New York, and it's 40. So I don't know how I'm going to sleep tonight. But I am pleased to see the grandchildren, and now they're there all summer. So what we're going to do is, so you cut it because it's a topper. I would give it a nice um, depth. Don't cut it too thin. This isn't a flower. Do you know what I mean? So you don't want it thin, you want it to have, to have some substance. So we're going to cut a hole. And then can you pass me some of those flat pocket, those plastic ones, Maria? Sorry, you just passed me the top, I'll sort them out. So I didn't make any, I didn't make any cakes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some of these plastic dummies here. Yeah. Is that in my camera way? Right? Yeah, no, it's um, Right. So we'll take that off there. All you need to do is have a little yeah, just use a brush. To brush, just gently push him out. Don't worry, I'm going to cover a bit. It's okay, that's my design. Get up. <laughs> what are you doing? Here? She's moving me paperwork. I'm already traumatized. Get up, Maria. So we've got the flat disc, okay? And I've got because Maria moved off with me paperwork, I subconsciously went and rolled up my sugar paste again, which I didn't really need to do. Get off, Maria. Okay. So what we're going to use the disc, and then what we're going to do is we're going to use this one. So we're just going to pop it in there on the half because we don't need all of it. In fact, sorry, there you go. Mistake number one. What side do I need to be using the cutter? Yeah, turn it over. So what we're going to do then is we're just going to stick it in. You've got to learn these things, haven't you? So we're just going to stick it in. We're going to press it out. Because I've done that one there before, I think that will be enough there. So we'll use that. So these here, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put them together there, and I've put my nails in them. It's a thing with having nails in, but don't worry. And then we're going to just, can you see it all right, Laura? Yeah, yeah it's fine. Yeah. We're just going to cut that off, and we're just going to do the same there as well. Plenty of them to cut, aren't they? Do you know what? I wonder if they need to be a bit thinner. Mm. Mm. I'm thinking so. They're not looking easy, these. Hang on. There is um, a YouTube video. If you go onto the FOM website, um, there is you a YouTube video. No, no, Thanks, I'm just Laura. saying. It's all right. No. I know you've lost confidence straight away. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I was about to say was. The YouTube video looks very, very simple, but as Carol said to me earlier, it's been all squidged up into about two minutes. Two and a half minutes. Yeah. yeah. So obviously you do need to take a bit more time. To be fair, and there's a few things I haven't thought about because obviously I wasn't thinking all the patterns there. 
and that's why I went on there straight away when you can't, you've got to turn it round. And then when I've gone to cut it, it because, because I've gone to cut it, it's then putting all the other, if I put the whole thing on there, it's going to cut all four. So I only want the ears, so I'm just going to cut the ears there and then pop it through. So I'm just going to cut the ears again, pop it through. It's one of those things, it's all right when you know how, isn't it? So I'm going to do that. And Laura, could you pass me a knife, please? And then what we're going to do with his ears then, we're just going to take that one off. Take that one off, yeah. So, and that's going to go there. Well, at least it's looking like something, which is good. Okay. These are all the things that if I do it here now, live with you, you'll think, oh right, I remember that. Carol McFarlane looked it up. So let's know how to do it correctly. So we're just going to have a bit of this skin tone colour. Has anybody had a go at doing these? Um, no, there's quite a few people saying that they've got the cutter, but they haven't actually made anything. Are you all doing the same as me, just looking at it? <laughs> I'm thinking, I've really got what to sit down and have a go with that. <laughs> so, we'll do this. And then the next one, we're going to go in again. So we're just going to make that a little bit shorter. And then, we're going to, no. I'm going to make it bigger, sorry. I'm going to make it bigger. And then I'm going to worry about it in a minute. Because he's got to go on these ears, but he's got to go on it. It's got to be a bit smaller yet. So we're going to cut there now. Am I going out of camera? No. Can you tell me? No, no, not at all. So I think they're going to go on there. Do with being a bit smaller. So let's just do it again. And it's not this before anybody says it's not that oval one there, the smaller one that's smaller again. So let's cut that again. I think this is, do you know what? This is a great tool if you enjoy modeling or anything like that. Imogen Davison says she has made them. She made them a few weeks ago and she's going to post us some pictures once the live's finished. Yeah. Thanks, Imogen. Show me up. <laughs> don't want me to share. I don't mind. <laughs> so we're going to glue those all on. I just want to make sure I've got all my bits together first. So then we want some black eyes, don't we? So where's my black? You're filming this with excitement in here, thinking something exciting is going to happen. <laughs> Don't think it is. The Saraceno, when you get the Saraceno modelling paste, it's made with the uh, cocoa butter. And when you get it, it's absolutely rock hard. And it sets rock hard again. So all you need to do is bring it to room temperature. And if, you, if it's still not soft then, just put it in the blast in the microwave for 15 seconds and then do another 10 seconds and it's fine. That's all we've done today. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this cutter now. I didn't get the pointy bit on. Do you want me to just add to your woes now, Carol? Go on, add to your woes, what? Halima's just said the cutter is brilliant. Her nine-year-old daughter made some unicorn cakes to sell at school. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Stop showing me up. <laughs> she can get on this Facebook Live and show us how to do it then. We'd love to have a kiddie day. Right, so see that one there? It's been cut there. So all we're going to do now is, with this cutter, is when I can right. angle it Why right. don't you use the bigger, the main cutter, so flip it over. Pardon? No. Oh, that's what Imogen just said, you use the main cutter. Yeah, do you think so? 
to trim. So I thought that was like the right thing. You can use your main cutter as your trimmer. Oh, right, okay then. I suppose there's lots of ways, isn't there? Oh yeah, there you go. Let's get that point there. Are you all feeling for me? There we go. No, Carol, because this is the thing, when we're doing it at home for the first time, we're going through exactly the same process, so it's good to see somebody actually trying it. No, it honestly is. And I think this is the thing, it's, it's achievable. It's not something that's done a hundred times by somebody and they've perfected it and then made it look I don't know. easy. It's this scary, is it. One, two, three, not got enough mat. So, wait a minute, we're getting there, don't worry. I think by the end of this demo, we might have one done. And then I'm going to leave Laura and Maria all afternoon making them. <laughs> <laughs> we might have a play. I think you should. <laughs> so we need its little nose, don't we? So we need the nose. And then I need to poke this little bit of orange out there. So we need an eye. Is that going to be big enough for an eye? Maybe it is. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Never thought that. I think I feel as though I'm sliding up the board. No, I don't no. know how. I don't know how Maria's going to do videos of these. Wait a minute. Let's just do another eye. Right, should we put them together? See that bit? Fine. <laughs> What's my fact? Because I end up eating all the little bits, can't help myself. Right, where's that glue? Where's the white paint? Let's stick it, start sticking it together. Let's see what happens. Can miracles come together? So, take those off. So we're just going to put a bit of glue there. And stick his ears on there. anybody else made them? So we've got a nine-year-old child who can make them. Who else have we got? Who can Imogen. Make Imogen, Imogen made can them. make them. Doreen Griffin can make them. Anybody else can make them? No one else. It's the sense. rest of you with me. First time. Just got the cutter in your cupboard. Right. Okay. So then let's get these fiddly little bits on. He's not going to look perfect like a lion, tiger, this one. I'm just going to have to go for it. Do you feel for me? Because I feel for me. I feel as though I'm having a cupper and saucer incident again. No. <laughs> we have to get that Carol Haycox down here doing these. So this is what she's good at doing, isn't it? Right, and then we need to, oh, the skin tone, I forgot to do his mouth. So we might have a bit of a dirty, muffy mouth. So we just roll this out, innit? Oh, Avion said that she's made them and they are fiddly, but they do come out great. Thank God for that. It's 
550 the face cutter, a mix and match face cutter, 5 pound 50. You're telling me, telling me I'm working so hard for 5 pound 50. Yeah. <laughs> Maureen Bailey says she's made them, she does agree they're not as easy as you think, they do take a bit of practice. Oh he's looking like it, he's looking like it, look at this, we've got a face and a nose. Wow, look at this girls, look, we've got an eye, it's coming on, it's coming on. This is how it all comes together. Oh, look at that, here's my first teddy bear. <laughs> oh, I'm well excited. Right, okay, got to get the hair on now. Right, I think what I'll do is I'm just going to paint, that, paint, paint it like that and then stick the hair on. Is it hair? It's not his hair, it's his stripes, isn't it? Because mm. he's a tiger. God. You're holding your breath in anticipation. <laughs> I am. I think this is John coming home to pack his case. He might be going without me. We could be here a while. <laughs> <laughs> could be here a while. Right. I'll just take this one off. It's really coming together now. Yeah, amazingly. Quite chuffed with myself. I might, I might, have, I might have done this one. We might get a frog done next. Something. I do think you need to have delicate little balls that no nails on. Are you holding your breath for me, Maria? <laughs> I like it. It's cute. It's cute. I'm just struggling picking it up. I think this is why I don't do roses and things. Right, that one is not on properly, but we, you get the idea, don't you? Okay, so then we've got some white paint. Right, he's not the best girls, but you know what, he's going to have to do. So we've got some paint here. Now you can use paint or you can use um, those little hundreds and one thousands. Now let me just tell you something when you come to do eyes. You've got people who do the cross eyes and you've got people who do the eyes. When you come to do the white dot, you must put on each eye the dot in the same place. So we're going to put the dot there, yeah? So don't put it over here, put it in the same place, yeah? And never put the dot in the center, never looks right in the center. And we're just going to put his little nostril on there. Is it looking like a tiger? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Is there only you agreeing or is there no, any you agreeing? No, everyone's agreeing. <laughs> and then we've got our uh, fractal pens, okay? So you just draw this on. The good thing with these fractal pens, can you see that there? Yeah. Look how lovely and fine that nib is. Oh, great. And you don't need to wait for your sugar paste to dry either. So all we're going to do is, if I can draw a steady line. Yeah, that's it. Hiya, John. Hello. <laughs> Hey, you've seen John, not seen him oh, for a while. Oh, barely saw Did him. Did they not see him? Barely Did you write the camera? That's, That's Laura time. keeping her job. Have you been talking to Laura, John, <laughs> about how she's going to keep her next year's contract? <laughs> <laughs> I've just been telling him you're back. Anyhow, there you go. One little teddy bear. Can you right. turn him I'm around? I'm going to try and turn around. I thought I brought a palette knife in before. Yes, you did. Yeah. Can you just give him a light for me? That one's too pointy. Oh, yeah, I've got a coffee. <laughs> All right. This one had the royal icing on that I never used. So, see there he is, John, straight in in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I got the sack last time. Now my ears may well not have stuck yet. 
So I might have to move him without my ears. Oh no, the ears are going there, there, there. So, oh, he's really cute. I am going to sit him on this cupcake here, ready. And hopefully his ears won't fall off, but I think we might be pushing our luck. I think we are going to push our luck. Let's sit him there, okay? Yeah. So let's move them out of the way. So let's see what else we can get. So that was the teddy bear. Not the easiest one, it's but I will say I've never made one before. Looks like a tiger to me. Oh, a tiger. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I was just checking John was paying attention. <laughs> I'll leave the end of the sugar <laughs> Just checking John was with us. <laughs> What else should we make? Right. Should we make the ladybird? He looks easy. Should we make him? Right, okay. No instructions for this one. I oh, know. So yeah, Maria then, dark breath. Deep breath. Right, this one looks as though it's going to be alright, this one, Maria. Right? I think we might have to breathe. And then we'll make a bumblebee, and then I think we won't have much time after that. We've been having a great time, John. We've been painting roses. Look at them. We've been painting roses. We've been Very doing. Uh, we've been doing ready. lace, ready-made lace. Are you all learning anything today? All these things. Have we got how many people with us, Laura? Do you know how many people we've got? <laughs> so I've just seen you eating, though. <laughs> so I've just seen you eating. Have you, how have you managed to see John eating? <laughs> Probably in the reflection. <laughs> I got sacked because you know when he was filming Facebook, he'd stick it on there and then go and sit in the fridge for five minutes nosing around. Right, let's roll this round. Anyhow, John, do you know the good news? You know like you gave Laura holidays as part of her contract? Because we don't know the good stuff holidays, do we? But Laura negotiated hard and got holidays where she goes on holiday on Saturday. So who do you think is doing the Facebook Live for the next two weeks? Mondays and Thursdays. Ah. <laughs> now look at him. <laughs> Two Mondays and one Thursday. Two um, Mondays and one Thursday. Come to Thursday. Why not? Right, here we go. So, What's that? Oh, well, we've got, accredi we've got accreditation in. Who's going to do the camera then? <laughs> we've got a problem. <laughs> We'll worry about that later. See, look what I've done now. I've got to roll up my sugar paste again. We can ask for cameraman or woman volunteers for next Thursday. Who could we have on the camera? Who's going to volunteer to come and do the camera next Thursday? Am I here next Thursday? What are we doing next Thursday? <laughs> right, okay. So we need to cut out some little, some little dots. So let's get those out. So we need some black dots for the... Roll them a bit thinner. I think it does have to be a certain size this, you know. I think that's what it's doing. We've got a nine-year-old girl, John, who can do better than me. We're going to get her on here. I think we should have children on here. Yeah. I think we should. School holidays. Anybody's got any talented kids and they want to come on the Facebook Live, send me a message. And I think we should organise a day where we get them all up. And if they're only anything like our Holly, our Holly was all up for it and then went shy, camera shy on the day. <laughs> Wouldn't do it. <laughs> she'd, pra she'd done practice runs and everything at home. Practice runs, aren't you, John? Sent us little videos, kept sending me and John videos of her doing them. These are my little spots for my ladybirds, if you're wondering what I'm doing here. So I don't know how many spots I need, but we'll just make sure we've got a few. Right, okay, so I think we've got enough there. I'll take that back one back. And then we need to have... Then we can have the round ones for his eyes as well. Laura, did I see you yawn then, love? Me? Yeah. No. I was looking at the picture because right. the, Kaz Gibson's just said isn't the base of the ladybug red, but no, it's not on our picture. No, it's not on our picture. 
Yeah, it's the red back, doesn't it? Yeah. The red's going to be the overlay. Yeah. I'm looking forward to you doing a demo one day, Kat. Uh, Kaz. Yes. I think you, Kaz, should come here. Because you know a lot about cake decorating and I reckon you could teach us a few things. Hey, okay, you up for it? Hey, okay, come along to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Here we go, right. If anybody knows Kaz, she's on our forum quite a lot. She gives lots of useful information. She knows lots of lots of things about different things, things I've never even heard of. So I think you should come and do a demo, it would be great. No pressure. No pressure, <laughs> absolutely. Right, okay, so we've got the back there. That's that, stick that in there. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna cut this face off there and then we're going to see this come together, yeah? So let's put let's put that one there. Let's get the glue out. Is she up for it? Uh, she no, she's it. actually said that would be a hard no. Cars, <laughs> come on, be part of the fun. It's all very good commenting, but you know what, you've got to come here and be under pressure, see what it's really like. We get loads of people who come on and do it, you know? So there we go, and then what I'm going to do here, see this, just going to make a little line in the middle. You see that? And I'm going to sit on there, and then we're going to get a ladybird together somehow. Yeah, let's do a couple of little dots. Kaz gone quiet now. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Kaz. You know you want to. You'd be good. Is he starting to look like a ladybird? Definitely. Yet? So I have made errors, but this is the first time. But you know what, it's good for you guys to see what it's like. It is fiddly, but you know what, I think once you get into this, I mean, I've never picked up this cutter in my life, mm -hmm. but I think once you get into this, how much is it, Laura? 4 50 5 50 4 5 50 I think, you know what, I think you would find it quite therapeutic. Well, I actually find it quite therapeutic now, actually. Because uh, she just Googles everything and she has a chemistry background. Ah, okay. Do you make cakes, Kaz? And she's saying the ladybird is way more 3D than her version was. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right. So the chef's perks. There we go. Right. What do I need now? I need two eyes, don't I? White. That's the white. Right, listen, he's going to have to have skin tone eyes because I'm not going to start melting the white in the microwave now. So he'll have to have some skin tone eyes. So we're just it's kind of gone quiet now. Cassie, she says she just likes the science of the of caking. I'm not sure if she means cakes or baking. Yeah. Oh, do you? She likes the science part. Yeah. Well, that's good, isn't it? Because to be fair, you're interested in what none of us are interested in. We just want to know how to make cake and eat cake. So, really, but it's good to have somebody to have that insight, isn't it? And then first, I'm going to do a third one here. going to do this little third one okay so yeah he's meant to have white 
eyes, okay, but he, he's got beige eyes now. I'm gonna do this third one here, and on this third one, we're just going to cut off, I'm just gonna cut off that corner there. I did want to try and make a unicorn, but I've gotta be honest, I don't think that's gonna happen. Not today, I don't think it is. I think I'm gonna to have to come back and do it another day. So let's just put his eyes on here. This is a drunk ladybird, they're looking a bit <laughs> creamy. This is the day after. So if you're going to make one, you need to make him when he's not had a night out. I've got one hair in this thing that needs to follow now. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. I can see that little one, little hair. Mm, tiny it's one. Yeah. I need to get the scissors on him and do him. Anyhow, there's your ladybird. But we do need some little anklers things. Does he look like a ladybird? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But we, we do need a little ankle thing. Now I've got 10 minutes. I'm not going to put his little horns on because I'll have to mess around with Ray. But can you see those? Ah, yeah. We need to put those little antenna things on, aren't they? Okay. So let's see what else we could just quickly make. Quickly, once we get into the sprout strider things. What else can we make quickly? So, um, the fox. Should we make the fox? No, we've done an orange. The cat one's there. quite easy with a bow. How am I going to make a bow? Oh yes, you the bow looks use the, right. Yeah. yeah. Right, okay, I've got to use white answer. Oh, sorry. Do you know what? You could do is? pink. Have you got pink out? I have got pink out. You do a pink one. Got a pink cat? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Does it not? They've got a unicorn next to it and that doesn't exist, so... Should we do a skin tone cat? Yeah. Or should I do the unicorn? Should we do the unicorn? Yeah, I think Come on, it won't take us long. Let's, oh. do, let's do the unicorn. How much we'll do, do you want to get on this flight, Carol? Let's do the unicorn. Sugar. Let's do the unicorn. Let's go for it. We're going to do him in skin tone. Let's do him in skin tone. a few of his colours. So, there we are. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what? I'm getting in trouble now for saying unicorns don't exist. 
Hey, of course it exists. We have a unicorn flavour. So I'm just going to do his ears. So we're going to do his ears. Oh, there, I'm doing it again. I'm doing his ears. Strange looking unicorn, but you know what, it'll get there in the end. Don't worry about it. Maria is so excited. <laughs> Aren't you, Maria? I'm scared. Hey, you're scared? <laughs> you guys scared? Listen, have faith. It always comes good in the end. How many of you watch me? It always comes good in the end, doesn't it? Hey? So, let's try and speed it up and let's see if we can finish with a decent finale. So everybody who wants anything, if you do want anything, you'll need to go onto the Sugar and Crumbs website. Yeah, and it's um, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. So we're going to glue this down. Sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Everything is in the Facebook wish list. But to be fair, if you go to search at the top and just put like unicorn, you'll find all the unicorn stuff. It will come up. So we're just going to put that on there. Wendy, yeah, Carol's using the Saraceno, so it, she doesn't need to trex the board. No, you don't need to trex the board. These boards are brilliant. They're in stock, they're very expensive, but they are well worth the money. So what we're going to do here now, we've just got to make a couple of these little pinky things here. I'm going to do another one. Okay, I'm going to stick that on. His nostril. Let's turn that around the other way. For his nostril. Yeah. And then we're just going to use the back of the brush to get the nostrils going. Yeah. Then we're going to do the ears. Ears. So I've already done the ears, these are the inside of the ears. So then the ears, I'm just going to stretch them a little bit and roll them out a little bit more just to make them a bit bigger. going to do then is we're going to pull it together. See like that? We're going to pull it together. I'm going to set it on there. Yeah. Now I haven't cut the inside of this in well enough but it'll have to do. holding your breath. I am. Doreen is online. She's just said she's got her cutter a few months ago. It's very time consuming but there is a, it's a great outcome. Has Doreen just come on? Right, this is Doreen who I was talking about before. She's great. She follows us on our page. She does lots of things that we have done. Sorry. 
She does lots of things. She does them better than me, actually. But in fairness, she comes on here, she follows the late Facebook lives, and then she goes away and does them herself, and they're absolutely brilliant. So I'm just going to cut roll this out. Um, Cheryl Middlemass said the plastic thing that you can see at the front of the screen, it's a cake, it's a dummy, it's a cupcake dummy, and it's plastic. Um, so Carol uses the plastic ones and also the foam ones when she's doing demos, nifty nozzle demos and things like that. that. So it's just so you can sit it on top and see what the effect is going to be. Yeah. So without okay. wasting any cakes. Yeah, it's because I'm on a diet, you see. And plus I keep eating all the bits in here. Right. So let's just do this here now. doing this upside down so I'm just trying to work out what we're it all sort of comes together doesn't it yeah it really just... quickly yeah once you, you I think it's the eyes that don't finish it off. yeah let me just um, I need to find something a bit why is that with the palette knife like that just so I can flick him in a bit Are they looking even then too? Mm, yeah. Yeah. So then we want to get the little, uh, we need to put some hair on. So we've got some hair. So we need some pink hair, a bit of yellow hair. We're nearly there actually. A bit of yellow hair, a bit of blue hair. So it's not the colour that the FMM do it, but we're just using the colours that we've got. I'm just going to wipe my hands, wipe my hands. I like to wipe my hands on my trousers, I've worked to the airport just like this. Hmm. Look at John, he's upstairs packing his bag. <laughs> so. So, the white one out, the yellow one out. So we're just making the hair now. I don't know whether me going all over the board, you can see it. Can I can see, yeah, yeah, perfectly in shot. <clears throat> so what we're going to do with these now is just going to cut them from the point. rabbits with the cutter um, I'm not entirely sure I'm sure you could do it just take a little bit of imagination because there's loads of different shapes on the cutter and that's a good thing yeah and um, Kat, well, Kat Riley's actually just said um, FMM state that you can do over a thousand different faces yeah good luck to them. well yeah <laughs> anyone who wants to try <laughs> come back and show us alright so all I'm doing is just using that lady who told me to use that was the best idea big part. well done that does help, but that does help. Do you know what? You've got to play with this, haven't you? You yeah. just got to know, I think. Yeah. Have you noticed from your first one, I'm getting a bit faster, as though I know on what I'm doing? Yeah, this is definitely quicker. But it's only because you lot are saying, which is great. So. Right, anybody who's just come on to watch, do remember these things are not for anybody to eat, they're just us. Okay, so I'm not making these for anybody at all. So I'm just going to put my glue here because it doesn't really matter. Okay, and then we're going to put the hair on. So we're just going to... Jan Jarvis has just said the more you use it, the better you get because you yeah. recognise which shapes to use for different things. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm on my third one yeah. now. I'm feeling a bit more confident. I'm not just saying that. I am feeling a bit more confident with it. And I think once you start doing a few of these, you could start knocking these out pretty rapid, really. 
It's this bit that's fiddly, trying to pick the bits up. Don't worry, I do know we have to put a horn on. I haven't forgot the horn. It's coming last. Too busy faffing around with this first. That's enough hair on there. So there's enough hair on there. Now we did have a little crown. I had a spare one. What did I do with it? Right, let's cut another one off. Let's get find that gold paint. So this here, all we did, all we did here, there's the, so this is going to be the unicorn bit. In fact, I'm going to do him a bit thicker so he's the same thickness as the actual topper. So he actually goes on the end there. It's all going to come together, just not that you're going to see it all at once yet. just going to mark the lines there, can you see? So we're just going to go on the angle there, let me just see now. Uh, yeah, we're going to do it that way. I think that way. And that way. I don't think it, it may not look right that, but, and then we're going to stick a bit of glue in here. Push it on there, so it fits on there. And where's that gold paint? We're not finished yet, guys, so don't worry. I'm gonna just paint it gold here. Ideally, you should have painted this horn before it should have been drying. Yeah. Shouldn't be doing it now, wet. But I forgot. Right, okay. So then we just need to put his eyes on. And then his eyes, I'm going to have to do these backwards. So, <laughs> this is going to be fun, isn't it? His eyes. Oh, I'm going to get eyes on now. Right, okay. So, they are. Is that painting? Let me just push this up. I can't twist my arm that way. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not left handed, but you know what? We're just going to have to do left handed. It's very hard doing stuff upside down, left handed. You know what? We'll just have to. You get it, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So he's got two little spider's eyelashes there. And then where's my little brush? It's found another little brush because I've got a funny little eye on it. I need a tiny little brush. That's a good one. I think we'll just push them back a bit as well. Push that back a bit. 
to show you the roses in half an hour and then I'd, I forgot, got carried away with that cake and I forgot that I was meant to be showing you the cake lace. So we have taken over time, but overall I think we've done all right. All the products that we're using are on the website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Just go to uh, Facebook wish list. everything is in there. If it's not in there, Laura and Maria will be putting it in there now if there's anything that I forgot to put in or just go to the search button. Anyhow, so I'm going to say goodbye now. Please like and share. Hopefully see you on Monday. We've got a fabulous lady coming in. She's one of you. She's in, she's in the audience. I don't know whether she's joined us today. She's called Zoe. She's going to kill me because she knows that I cannot say her name. Pop over to her page. Like her page. Her page is called Single Handed Creations. And I tell you, they're beautiful. She's making doggy cake toppers. Okay, not the rude ones. So, um, <laughs> so, so she's making <laughs> cake toppers, little doggy ones, all little cute ones, and Laura is now wetting herself. <laughs> it's not after nine either, it's daytime, isn't it? Oh God, right, okay. <laughs> but Zoe's coming making them. I can't wait to see them. She'll do a marvellous job. So please pop over to her page like it show her the love let her know that you're going to be here on monday single-handed creations that's what it called maria yeah so i'll see you then eight o'clock 
Laura won't be here. John will be back in the kitchen with Maria and Zoe. And Zoe, thank you for joining us. I will see you on Monday. And thank you everyone else for joining us. And I hope you've enjoyed everything that I've showed you today. It's all about making life easy. Yeah? Good. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye.